update available. I find this to be a whole load of baloney because I didn't have to update it on my phone. I clicked update and I'm still in the game. How does my castle get screwed over? I'm really sorry that I always yell and it's kind of annoying to listen to, I'm pretty sure. It's, there's something about Clash of Clans that just, that sets my temper bar to very low. Because you see, the top player in my clan, he gets good clan castle troops for his clan castle. I mean, this one's kind of a stinker as well, but he's got a nice level witch, I guess. And then there's mine, where I get level 5 dragons and a level 9 balloon. And then the person below me gets better stuff. Isn't that interesting how they all have fire on their troops and mine has nothing? Since the last video, we have gotten our clan to level 5, so we got our donations upgraded up a level, which is huge. Very huge. And yet, I'm still getting- Wait a second! So that means someone gave me level 4 dragons. Some Town Hall 7 player- Well, no. I don't even think it was a Town Hall 7 player. It was probably with our clan. It was probably a Town Hall 14 player with Town Hall 7 troops. Pekka wants ice golems. We're gonna give him an ice hound instead. And then a hog rider. That's kind of freaked up. I'm just gonna give him what he wants. I almost clicked healers because I was going to do it as a joke, but I actually almost accidentally did it. My commentary sucks. Oh my god, that voice crack was brutal. Terry, Terry. I don't want to punch myself in the face right this moment. I'll be voice cracking later on. No, I'm not giving this guy nine archers, a witch, and two super minions. That is not a strategy. Wait, is this the really crap? There's two Vaders in the clan. There's Darth Vader and then Lord Vader, and I think Lord Vader is the crappier player. Yeah, because he just upgraded. This man upgraded his town hall like twice within a week like he was just i swear he was just at town hall 13 the other day and he ruined his base forever he was trying to tell people how rushing his base was a good strategy but it's really not he's got really stinky heroes and he said oh the hero potion exists yeah well you don't have an unlimited amount of potions just so you know he's town hall 15 and his pet smart store is not upgraded at all well it is he's got a dog and a electric owl he fricked up his base he literally fricked up his base for no reason at all then there's darth vader who is also bad. He sucks as well. That's freaking great. I'm not giving you nine archers. Here, maybe these will help heal your base. An ice golem, headhunter, and a goblin. Someone knows how to read. I can't really give him a shooting star, but I'll translate what he was trying to say. That looks good. Super minion. All castles are full. Now, the reason why there's only five war days for this clan war league is because they're about to release some more busted troops that are going to completely destroy the clan war league. Supercell, I think, tweeted out something along the lines of the troops are probably going to ruin what we have going on let me see if i can find the tweet god bless they tweet a lot i don't think i'll be able to find it no i'm stupid it wasn't even a tweet it was what was it it was like in the website oh my god guys there's also something else that happened i got number one in the world for like 10 minutes and i have the screenshot proof it's right here ever since i was a little kid i used to be a really really crap rusher back when i was in fifth grade i used to play on my mom's ipad i would do anything to unlock the healer in the barracks meaning all of my walls were made of stone. I didn't care how my base looked. I wanted the healers. And then I realized once I grew up, man, this base really sucks. So I made a new account, which is why we have this account today. Now I am so good at the game. I made it to number one in the world. And this just goes to show that you can do all things in life if you work hard and believe. In the Bible, it says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Remember that one, kids, because that one's important. And now, I've made it to number one in the world. Sure, it didn't last long, but I got there. It happened. It was there. I have screenshot proof. Whoa, I have a ton of loot. Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, wait. I have a ton of loot. I didn't even realize it's a new season. I got off task again. I was looking for something else. It's on cock news. Where is it? My, I don't understand Discord. I'm so bad at using Discord. Oh, I found it. I found it. I found it. Okay, I found the description. The shorter duration is because we have a sweet new event coming soon, and since it will bring temporary troops, we don't want the two to overlap. We want Clan War League to remain competitive and centered around strategy. So basically, they're implying that there's no strategy involved around the new troops that come out for events. But we all knew that. We've been known that. Ever since they released those Halloween troops, they- we- yeah, it's a wrap. Oh, shoot! We're gonna get extra League medals as well! Not that that matters, because I'm gonna be having to save up for the next probably three? 
three years in order to get the king skin that I really want? I mean, hey, anything helps. That's nice. But yeah, that's why Clan War League is shorter than usual, if you guys didn't know. He can have eight more space, so we'll give him one of these. Merry Christmas, zzzz. After I max Roof Riders, what's next? Gobs? Or Electro Titan? Or Electro Drag? Or looks? Well, Mr. Former Skywalker, I can let you know that there's a ton of things that do need to be done next. You could have prevented all of this when you were at Town Hall 13 literally four days ago. Oh my god, my eyes need healing. My eyes need healing. Ah so beautiful every day i wake up the first thing i do is say thank you jesus and then the second thing i do is i look at my clash of clans base and say thank you jesus again do i wait four hours or spend 53 gems whoops i accidentally spent 53 gems and oh whoa 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 before i click confirm i still haven't even claimed my 10 percent builder discount now that would have been a silly mistake on my end wouldn't you say i would have said so the dragon champion i didn't even see the skin yet who is on the designer team for Clash of Clans. They had so much potential and then they just completely blew it. There's something about all these skins and horrible color combinations. Like this is a good example as well. These skins just look like really bad Fortnite combos. It's like if you were to see Ice Peely from an eight year old kid in a Fortnite creative map with a set of dragon wings and they think it looks really cool, but it doesn't obviously. Actually the Royal Champion's kind of a bad example because all these are pretty solid for the most part. Well, now they just completely ruined it. They have this garbage. They gave her a Bakugan head with a Beyblade as a shield. That skin freaking sucks. I'm sorry. Oh, well, you know what we could do? How much do walls cost now? Four and a half mil instead of four mil. It's 90 gems a tier. I'm broke on gems, so I'm not going to pay my way through this time. Or excuse me, the hacker isn't going to take control, I'm pretty sure. We can upgrade the owl to level four. So we're just going to do that real quick. All right, time to upgrade some walls. I still haven't even collected my clan games rewards. Could use this elixir. We'll take this shovel because I have a bunch of obstacles that just never endlessly spawn four wall rings won't do crap for me so i guess we'll take the gems three million more elixir why not oh that's about four million actually silly me build the elixir because i have to upgrade my helicopter about 300 levels i'm pretty sure it was and then we'll take the book of building but because i'm the absolute goat i got number one in my clan so i get to select an extra reward and before you clash of clans idiot nerds start like commenting it's not because you got number one it's because you got the four thousand points i know but i'm still better than you so we're gonna collect this rune of elixir as well because why the heck not there we go now he's packed his bags and left after sitting there for about a week because i didn't collect any rewards for that long guys i've been using a new strategy lately and it's been very fun and i'm going to showcase it to you guys today even though it's a very common strategy a lot of people know about it now that's if we can find an opponent of course look this guy's at town hall 16 and i'm going to do it on him just because i freaking can we must locate his air sweepers and bomb towers though this dude's got crazy obstacles that I've never seen before. The gears, the dragon statue. That thing's like the size of a town hall. The guy that says, magic, a bomb. I really wish I had this because I like Clash Royale and that's just like a nice reference. Where's his second air sweeper? Well, guys, I can't see his second air sweeper. So, oh, wow. His sweeper is pointing this way and one's pointing this way. He's not concerned about this direction at all, which is perfect for us. So what we're going to do is drop the warden. We're going to place the blimp and then pop the warden ability. So this has invincibility right now. We're going to wait. I'm getting really nervous though because it's probably not going to get to where i want it to be it did okay double clone another invisibility rage one two three four uh, i think i kind of screwed up because they didn't do as much damage as i thought they were going to so something went wrong oh i know what went wrong the super archers were a bunch of idiots and didn't target the important things and now that my grand warden's still alive it's gonna follow around the royal champion Ugh. so she's gonna have a rage booster the game's gonna do what it does best and promotes men beating women so the king is going to kill the royal champion never mind so she's gonna take out a good amount of stuff never mind she got a stone thrown at her head so it's ggs for her so the attack went horribly and i have no time remaining because i thought it'd be a great investment to spend 50 seconds of the match trying to find one of the air sweepers Holy cow! That was really close. I didn't think we were gonna get it just because of the invisibility potion. Not to mention there's like eight supermans on top of the town all 16. We got enough loot to upgrade another wall. I've got a book of building right now. I wish I had these deals so much earlier because these ones are huge. They're amazing. Wait, what just happened? Uh-oh. What? I looked at my phone for a second, and I looked back up, and all of a sudden, something has changed with my screen. That text doesn't show up unless somebody bought something in the item shop. Everyone look at my upgrade base right now, all right? 
Dear God, I wish I didn't look. Whoa! Oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> I was more blown away by the fact that this guy's got Town Hall 9 defenses for his Town Hall. I don't think there's any explaining needed at the moment for what this is representing. Are you able to get banned for, like, base layouts? I gotta look up if you're able to get banned from base layouts. Can you get banned on Clash of Clans for having an inappropriate base layout? So according to the Supercell's policy list, yes, you could get banned for having an inappropriate base layout. Well, I wish you best of luck because I'll be reporting you. I have to report this to the authorities as soon as possible where's his id his player id is hidden so i can't report him not that i was gonna report him anyway but i may as well come clean i've done this before too but that was when i was a town hall 10 so i was a bit younger and by younger i was 18 years old so it doesn't count i got a book of building and i reckon i should upgrade an air missile Ooh, no we're doing the second bomb tower we're doing this this is important there we go we're gonna upgrade the corner hut to level four the three builder huts that are in this general area are going to level three so then they'll need one more upgrade to be maxed out then we don't have to touch those until town hall 15 which is amazing oh and i also have a funny story for you guys oh shoot wait a second my my built my base got here my base got here the the next day shipping it, it's finally arrived two weeks later i think it's been so i sent an email saying hey i paid for the base a few days ago but still have not received it yet any updates on the progress hey chief can you tell me your order number so i can check status with the builder thank you rhbb and they sent that email eight minutes later after i asked so they are really consistent and they're really up up to date with their supporters or their customers so i tell them my order number they don't reply until three days later i miss this email i guess hey chief thank you for your order download the file below in attachments since your order exceeded waiting time ugh, i wouldn't say exceeding it surpassed waiting time whoa one more base for free from our patreon what the heck they're saying to put nine archers a headhunter and a lava hound in the clan castle so that dude that said they wanted nine archers in my clan was wasn't being stupid, I guess, because that's what the pros do. Guys, we're going to be able to use this base, though. I have Clash of Clans, idiot. I can see the base, but for some reason, I can't copy it over. It looks like a really good base, too. It does not look bad at all. Actually, nope, this base sucks because there's open there's open holes in the walls. Again, that is not a strategy. You guys in the comments can tell me all you want. It's a strategy. It's a strategy, but it's not a strategy. And I've given you guys a demonstration to why it's not a strategy. Wait, what if I try to do it on my phone? Maybe that'll help. All right, I got bad news and I got bad news. Bad news number one, I cannot transfer it over for some reason. I don't know why it's not working. Whenever I click the link on the email, it's telling me to download Clash of Clans, even though I've been playing Clash of Clans on this computer for a decent amount of time now, so I don't know why it's not working. And bad news number two, I got way too many Hobby Lobby decorations inside my base. The whole base that they sent me takes up the whole entire map. Therefore, I wouldn't even be able to place it here because I have all these freaking trees everywhere. So that's very unfortunate. Well, that was a that was a fun run that was a very fun run i gotta say actually we'll get some research going just because i have so much dark elixir let's do 270 on the warden 10 days that is lovely i should not have done that i should have just used that dark elixir for the pets wow that was very smart on my end i'm gonna get off and probably start the recording again once those event troops come in try those out and then we'll probably end the video after all that it is currently like a day or two later. I can't quite remember. I've lost track of time. I, st I still can't believe it. I just can't believe it. Anyway, I don't want to start the day off with negativity. Wait a second. I don't remember this scenery being equipped in. What? What is this scenery even called? Dragon Palace scenery. Oh, no way. Not again. I think it happened in my sleep. Thanks, Mr. Jaden. You. Well, the hacker just wasted more of my money because this is a garbage Finding Nemo looking scenery. I can't tell if this is supposed to be a statue or an actual living creature because it has bubbles like it's breathing and then it also so blinks once a century, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there you go. See, you saw it, it blinked. Wait, actually, I gotta hear the music. Ooh, okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty... Actually, no, I don't really want to hear it right now, though. An alligator submarine, what it appears to look like with a xylophone on its nose oh there's some spilled macaroni and cheese with some remnants of the last lunar new year bombing that was gonna happen and then the stuff just got thrown in some bubbles because they couldn't think of any other ideas now hear me out it has a crown on its head therefore it's probably the king or queen of all clams just when you thought the builder's life was already bad we made it even worse by trapping it inside a snow globe he examines his hut and then he continues to try to smack against the glass to free himself but it'll never happen someone on the short bus licking the window do you guys remember the scene from spider-man 
Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse where Miles is by the bus and there's just the kid licking the glass window. That's what that reminds me of. Every time I've watched that movie with a friend, he'd always start laughing. Some fishies in this low textured Minecraft texture pack sleeping giant is still stuck sleeping. He does not care about anything that's happening inside the world. I'm pretty sure he's sleeping in like five other sceneries. Fansick. The holiday troops haven't come out yet because we have to wait for Clan War League to finish, unfortunately. There is something I want to do though while I'm here. I don't know why I didn't just use this book to start with because there's something else I want to speed up as well. Frick, I still need like another million. I know how to get it. Woo! I want to upgrade the clone spell to level 7 because I've been using a blimp attack lately and a book of spells. Now, which one of you six are going to get it next? You know what? I'm not going to upgrade any of them because I'm going to use the dark elixir for the pets and I don't use any of these troops anyway. Whoops, I'm having a finger slippage again. Two of my builder huts just got gemmed. I, I freaking hate the gold pass. I get scammed every time. I think it's a good deal, but then I remember I'm always full on a bunch of potions because I don't use them, so I barely get any rewards, and then I get a garbage skin 10 out of 10 times. Someone give me a good Town Hall 10 army. That's what I have to say about it. All right, well, someone is very smart. He said E-Drag spam for a Town Hall 10 army. Okay, at least he caught on. Oops. Electro Dragon attacks are something that a three-year-old is capable of doing. It's not even fun. You drop down a total of nine troops, and then you just watch, and that's about it. There's no skill required. It's just boring. I always think he's dead when he's laying there. Mm, what can I do now? Oh yeah, I was gonna upgrade another builder hut. We're getting all these to max, luckily. And since there's no good active people online, I'm gonna have to pay for my own super archers. Someone wants to do the super whiz strat. He is a goat. Still need 10.8 mil to get this one to max. Oh, that's the last one I have to upgrade as well. I'm just gonna bully this clan member just for the sake of bullying them. I love bullying my clan mates. Even if it makes my ears bleed in the process because this game is way too loud. What the heck? I even got to hear the bird noise. I left the screen like 10 minutes ago and it still did its whole animation. I wasn't watching it. I was just listening. Before I attack, I have to come clean with something. I was attacking in Clan War League and I only got one star on a town hall lower than me. I got a 91%. Well, watch what happened. I literally screwed myself. I'm such an idiot for this. I didn't even check for any air sweepers. So when I dropped the blimp, it got pushed back. So I was like, oh shoot, there's no way it's going to get into the position I want it to be at. And it really didn't. It dropped right there which is horrible i wanted it to be about right here because then at least it would have gotten the town hall as well but unfortunately i did not get the town hall and i only got one star it's really a hit or miss with those super archers what the heck my mouse was not even on that button do you guys see this look my mouse isn't on the button and then I just close the tab. I don't know, it's kind of weird. I got a rune of elixir, rune of builder elixir, and a rune of builder gold. But guess what I don't have? The only rune I actually need and want, which is the rune of gold. Remember when I was at 14,000 gems in the beginning of January? Or whatever day that was, I don't quite remember. When did I get five wall rings? Did I even... Oh, I can't even see what I got for clan games. I don't even think I got the wall rings. Well, guys, let's upgrade a wall. Preferably this one. Yes, we're actually doing very good on walls right now. And part of the reason might be because I started Town Hall 14 with over 150 wall rings. Next season is Queen, then Warden. I really care about the skins, just the perks. There's no perks inside a gold pass. Perks are very bad for you guys. Don't take them. There's also an abandoned Minecraft ship on the scenery, I've just found out. And when you go down there, you'll find the suspicious stew that's 100% a poison. Ooh, that's a good amount of gold. I will be taking that. All right, we're good. We're good. We didn't screw it up this time so there's no air sweepers to stop us four and the super archers are running off for some reason i hate when they do that i don't understand why they do that it is so annoying but they just do that because they think it's a good idea and i'm not gonna get a scatter shot am i the warden just got in a fight with a skeleton. I'm sure he was very scared and concerned that he wasn't going to win that one. Wow, they got the scatter shot. That was pretty impressive. Well, we're screwed because we didn't get the town hall and that thing's going to burn all of our dragons. Somehow the warden survived and now he's going to give all of my troops a damage boost. I'm trying to find a good place to drop the queen, but women can't walk alone at night, so it's going to be hard to find a good spot for her. I just hit a sick trick shot. Every time I deploy a baby dragon, it just gets bombed. I did not think I was getting the three star, but I got the three star. Wow. I got three stars against a pretty decent Town Hall 14, but when it came to Clan Wars, I got one star against a Town Hall lower. Oh, uh, that's some bull crap right there. Well, at least we got over a mil off gold. We still need about seven million more. Nice job, Jaden, with the attack. Thank you. Just so you guys know, let's refresh our memory for a bit here. Blue Robot 95 is the inventor of the Super Wizard strat. I know have money on my card, so it won't get declined. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, we were on a Discord call the other day, and he was playing Clash of Clans, and he was sharing his screen, and he tried to buy something in the shop. 
shop and his card got declined. I don't know why I found that so amusing, but that was just the funniest thing ever. I don't know. There's just something about trying to buy a Clash of Clans battle pass and your card getting declined is just so funny to me. Bases like this are so fun to do the strat with because everything's just piled up together like a storage unit. But that one, unfortunately, didn't have the loot I wanted. I would love... Actually, I wouldn't love to see it because I don't want to see it, but I was going to say I would love to see how someone in the comment section explains to why this is very strategic right here. More walls around the grass because when the guy waters the grass, he doesn't want to get too much water in that one specific spot. I think this one's great. I don't even need to place down the blimp. I could actually save my Grand Warden because I want to drop it right here and this idiot has an open hole in their base. Let's see what's right here first. Yeah, I'm not even going to use the blimp. I'm just going to use this. We're going to drop down an invisibility and then this real quick. Two clones. A rage. Another invisibility real quick before they all die. We're goaded. We are goaded. Huh, that was actually really bad. I was hoping it'd destroy way more, but it kind of didn't. But I get to keep my Grand Warden now, which is very huge on our part. Oh my god, this is perfect. This is perfect. And thank god these aren't single target Inferno, so I can just drop the king up there by himself. He'll solo that whole entire side of the base because he's the best hero in the game. For those of you that didn't know... Oh, I just used the ability at the perfect time. The Queen and Champion will take out this part. And the king is going to die to a child. Baby dragons might be the new wall breaking meta. Do you guys see this? He's drilling through the walls right now. And of course the dragon leaves behind the builder's hut, but luckily the game can't screw me too hard because I have cleanup troops. Nice try game. Wow, this was a very close attack. He almost killed everything. I only had the whole United States Air Force on my team alive. Oh no! Oh, I fricked up. I fricked up. I fricked up. I was wondering how I just got a thousand shiny ore from that attack, but it's because I got to legend. No! Can I revenge people and drop trophies? Please tell me someone doesn't have a shield, please. Yes, I'll lose 20 trophies for this. Great, okay, yep. Sorry, you can actually no, I'm not sorry. There you go. 21 trophies for you. No, I didn't click replay, I clicked revenge. And instead of taking me back to where I was, I gotta go all the way back into the freaking scroll wheel. Oh, I can't revenge anybody else. Well, that was fun. No, it wasn't. I can remove my shield. Yes, I didn't know I could do that. I didn't know I could do that. I don't know why I said I didn't know I could do that. When you try to commentate and then you do a really bad job. And then you just be, you're just like a mid creator, like 90% of this platform, guys. I'm very sorry. Oh, oh, wait a second. I can still drop trophies because I'm not at 5,000 trophies. So uh, technically, I'm not allowed to sign up to Legend League, even though I'm already in Legend League. Although I've been sitting on this screen for a decent amount of time now, more than my patience can withstand. What is going on? You guys haven't sat through it because I'm editing out the boring part of me standing looking at my phone waiting for this magnifying glass to zoom in enough to find a base. Maybe, maybe there's a little glitch. I'm going to click return home and try again. Maybe this will fix it. Maybe. Maybe. Wow, it fixed it somehow. Well, all I want to do is drop trophies, so there we go, and I'm out. This dude's broke as a joke. You know, I really wanted to steal the last of the gold he had, but I don't really feel like it. This is definitely a pro base, but he I know he didn't pay for it. Just take a look at his walls compared to his town hall. He didn't pay for it or build it himself, because obviously he doesn't have that high of an IQ with how he rushed his base. He definitely didn't think of that base layout. If it has a ton of open walls, then it's a pro base, apparently. And I just know for a fact that guy didn't come up with that. He didn't. There's no way he did. Oh, boo-hoo. I went to Titan 1? No. It's gotta be a mistake. Well, guys, while I wait, I'm gonna boost up everything, and I'll see you in the next cut once my stuff is done training. For a second, I took a glance at this, and I thought there were some Lego bricks. Oh, <gasps> but they're gem cookies. Cookies. I'm dumb. They're gem chocolate. Like, it's got a gem on it. No, they don't have the outskirt logo on here. That's unfortunate. Although, this is a very nice scenery, though. It's very cool. It's definitely one of my favorites. Yes! Yes! This is perfect! I'm not going to be able to destroy the artillery, though, but I don't really care. That's not too concerning for me. All right, we're good. Uh-oh. Oh, they might die from the town hall bomb. I might have placed it a bit too close. Never mind, I somehow didn't kill them all. All the inferno towers are gone. That's huge. I wish they killed that champion, though. I don't think they're going to. Please, please, thank you. Well, we got the whole how to train your dragon movie set on the screen now, so that's going to be a problem. That is such a weird thing to have. A dragon and two baby dragons. The king can just eat 
anything. He's good. He can't even feel it. Oh, he can kind of feel that dragon, though. What level dragon is that? Is that a max Town Hall 16 dragon? All right, I'm just going to place all my stuff now, though. Where did my Barbarian King go? He died? Wait, where is his body? I can't find his body. Ah, uh, you silly goose hiding behind the Minecraft bush. It's a wrap. Well, shoot. I could have saved a ton of money if I have just unlocked this. And we're about to get a rune of gold. That is also amazing. What is wrong with this guy? I have to attack him for sucking at the game. I just have to. I can... Oh, my God. This is perfect. I can perfectly place the blimp as well. I'm doing it. I have to do it. This is what he gets for rushing. Whenever there is rushers like this, I just love attacking them just for a frick you. This strategy is way too overpowered. Oh, my God. We got the monolith as well. And all the archers ran away from the invisibility. So, I just lost a ton of value. Please get that one Infernal Tower. Thanks. Could have been better, but that was also very good. We destroyed pretty much half the base with that one attack. And the rest of it's going to be gone as well because this guy sucks at the game. He even left his rockets outside. Wait, I can hit a crazy trick shot. Oh, I thought the giant arrow would destroy both air missiles, but I missed the alignment. Whatever. This is not even close anyway. Another three stars. I always wait until the last day to do these raids because I just find them to be extremely boring. There's a nice 2% left on this base. We've unlocked the Flying Dutchman as well. And cannon carts. I don't remember. Wait, what? That's not a can a raid cart. I've never seen that before. That's interesting. I don't remember unlocking all of these things. And we got the garbage lightning spell that couldn't even kill a wasp. I wonder if the mortar has a chance to fight off this. No way. That was pretty close. It's two of them? I thought it was just one. That is very cool. And this cannon cart here appears to shoot once a light year. Bowser's airship is way weaker than I thought. I thought he dropped nukes. <gasps> it drops skeletons. Okay, so it's not as bad as I thought it was. You know, I could have used this jump spell for the wizard to jump over the wall, but I didn't really think that through for some reason. We'll drop it right here. What the heck? Now I've unlocked placement in the water. I guess the troops have taken swimming lessons within the time I placed that. Vlad X Kim is now in Clash of Clans. Why are the rockets so high quality? And there goes the ship. That thing has way too much range. That is stupid. Well, I guess it makes sense. It's shooting freaking rockets and he is still alive. Oh my God. He's a genius. Do you guys see this? He just used like a 600 IQ strat. I wonder if he's able to jump over the water now. No, he's not. What if I place another jump spell? He almost changed his mind for a second and then he said, no, nah, I want to go break this wall instead of being able to fly over the river. How about this thing? No, I'm disappointed. I thought it was going to fly around. Vroom, 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 Oh, for God's sake, I didn't get that building. At least it's not the mountain golem traveling. I came up with the LeBron James x Michael Jordan strategy, where the super wizard can jump higher than the both of them combined. Oh my God, I freaking hate you. I hope you slip into the river and drown. Oh, yeah, that works even better. He got a log thrown at his ankles, bombed, and then he got shot with a spear, and then his grave got buried right where he died. All of these clan capital troops suck. <laughs> what the heck? I can place it inside? Wow, everything just died within the span of a second. Yeah, I freaking hate Clan Capital. It's so boring. I don't know why people get so hyped for this every weekend. Oh my god. A lot of people were not happy with my last video, the Hollow Knight video that actually costed me a controller. And this guy left a comment, and it starts off saying, okay, this is just painful to watch. And then after that, you could send this to a college professor, and I'm sure he would be very proud of you. This is insane. I don't think I've ever seen a comment this big with someone trying to help me out. I have even read the whole thing i didn't even really begin to read it other than the first five words of the first sentence this is freaking ridiculous right here how do they even get inside and they're all dead as well take out the bowl of soup thank you can they do it in five seconds no because this guy's pulling up and he's gonna run up on all of them kill oh okay or they're just gonna despawn am i done yet can i be done i know i still have another raid bless america that is such a crap spell. Are you freaking kidding me? I thought he'd walk around this way, but that's not possible, apparently. He does a crap ton of damage, though. Did you guys see that? Oh, my God. God, minion horde, and they're all going to die the moment they go to the super wizard tower. It is very satisfying to watch, though. Watch them all die now. Not only one, but there's two and air bombs. <gasps> Wow, we've opened up our own cemetery within half a second. And now he's going to solo the rest of this base. He can't walk around right here because there's not enough room for him to slip through. He has to break this fence. He survived the bomb. 
He did not survive the nuke, though. Oh, no. Unfortunately, I ran out of raids. My day's totally ruined, by the way. He wanted an Electro Dragon, so I gave him that. We're gonna give him two Earthquake spells. Oh, someone just gave him a Freeze. Never mind. And then for the Siege Machine, I want to give him a Wall Wrecker. And then, what can I do for 10 more space? There we go. Hope you're happy. Another crap player that I have to attack. And into the poison they all went, but no need to fear. This guy sucks. There's no way I'm going to lose again. This queen alone will take out probably almost... No! She angled herself wrong. And I'm about to get into Legend League again. Again. Which has got to come to a stop. No! I wish I had a complete army for this loot. Wait a second. I could still rob all of his dark elixir, so I'm going to do exactly that. Yes, please. Wow, easy 4K right there. And these Town Hall 9 players are crying about having to get their queen level up. All you have to do is just giant arrow and then leave. Back in my day, I didn't have a giant arrow. And back in my day, I wasn't able to get my king to level 20 for Town Hall 8. And back in my day, I didn't even have runes of Dark Elixir, I'm pretty sure. I'm about to run out of medals because I keep reinforcing. Because every time I request, I appreciate the clan support. But you guys donate me low-leveled invisibility spells and archers and they don't really help. Ooh, do we do it? We can get rid of all the main defenses if we do it we're doing it we're doing it this one's a fun one as well uh oh there was a tornado trap now hopefully they get rid of the rest of it i don't think they're going to because they're attacking the heroes and oh 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 they got the scatter shot i could care less about this multi-target inferno and just like that 40 percent of the base by the way wait it's gonna be even more this might be the best one I've ever... Oh, that freaking mortar ruined it. 40% is crazy. We almost got two stars from just the blimp alone. I exited it out very fast without saying any words, but here's the proof that I three-starred it just in case you guys assume that I suck at the... I mean, I kind of do suck at the game. It's already been an hour. The potion wore off. It's already been an hour. I can't believe that. That is bullcrap in my opinion. I don't think it's been an hour. We're going to use another potion. And I still don't have enough. Unless I spend the 90 gems for 20 points. Get this discount. And I still don't have enough. I want it so bad. Do you guys remember the movie Jingle All the Way? And how the Turbo Man was considered to be more important than the Ark of the Covenant? Well, this is this generation's Turbo Man right here. And I will get it one day. Look how he stands there with his arms crossed. He can fight with his arms crossed in battle. He doesn't even need to try. He could kick for all he cares. When he walks inside the building, he's the flyest. I want to try to do this by myself. I haven't even seen this yet. What's in the clan castle? Wow! Well, there's a ton of skeletons and a super dragon. Is there another thing in there? No, just the super dragon. I'm not I'm not even gonna attempt, actually. Actually, yeah, I will. What the heck is there seven bat spells for? Maybe the invincible bats will come in clutch. I've never seen bats take out a multi-target inferno. What in the frick is that? Is that the grand war? Ugh! Nope, these skins are stupid. I lost, so I'm just gonna wrap it up there. Luckily, I know a fellow YouTuber that does not lose when it comes to Clash of Clans attacks. I'll give you a hint. His creator code is much appreciated. I'm sorry, but that skin's really bad. Very much appreciated. Okay, there's no way this guy figures it out by himself every single time. He just said he broke it down himself and figured it all out. I don't believe him. Okay, I started listening to the tutorial, then he was going a bit too fast. Well, I could have paused the video, but I can't really pause the attack. Huh, for some reason, that storage never gotten taken out. Well, what it appears to look like with my investigation skills, the minion was supposed to, but then somehow fell in the process. Oh, I think I'm good, though. Wait, there's something else? No, no, the storage! Storage. Oh my god, no, not again, not again, please not again, please not again! Pl oh my god, oh my god, no, I don't, okay, I don't think I need the tutorial this time, I think I could figure it out, I already messed up. Get the inferno, please, get the inferno! Yes! The builder is gonna repair it though, that's unfortunate. Oh no, I screwed up the skeletons! Maybe I can improvise with the dragon to kill them all. No! I'm done, I'm done, I'm not doing it again, I'm not doing it again. I don't want to play it right now. Oh my god, I need 60,000 more gold to upgrade the final thing. Maybe one lucky giant arrow will do it. That did not do it. Well, now I need 50,000 more gold. This guy really sucks, so you guys know what time it is? I have no idea how this man made it to Titan 1. The final builder's hut, and then we don't have to worry about these anymore. This is the last builder hut upgrade we have to do for the town hall. We're doing very good. Shoot, maybe I should have upgraded some walls before using that builder, but who gives a crap now? It's too late. Yeah, we're doing very very good. We have all the heroes maxed. We have a ton of the defenses done. All the builder huts are done now. Now what I'm going to do next is upgrade air missiles and mortars. But yeah, I'm done with this video. The plan was to wait for the new seasonal troops to come out and put it in this video. But I have so much footage now and I kind of don't want to have a one hour long video. So yeah, that's about it. I'll see you all later.